Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another video with me. And today I'm going to showcase this card using some of the fabulous brand new release stamps from Lavinia. They were just released a very short while ago and they are beautiful. So here I've got the gorgeous little Liberty boat. I've got the fun little toad called Boggart. And then I've got Bellflower Vine stamp peeking out from the top. In the background to create this little bit of water at the bottom, I'm using the Flora stencil. That is this one. Let's see that. Yes. And then from the top, I've got leaf trails. So that's poking out of the top there. The colours that I'm going to be using. I've got two colours in Distress Oxide. I'm using Mowed Lawn at the top and Prize Ribbon round the bottom here. For my stamping, for the stamps I've got Nocturne and then for the sentiment which I've put as a faded in the background I've got Bluebell and Shady Lane. So I'm also using some of these gorgeous, gorgeous pastel Van Gogh pencils and you'll see when we get to them how soft and beautiful they colour. I'm using a couple of my blending brushes and a white Uniball Sigma pen. So we will get started. I'm using an A6 card which is an A5 and I've just folded it in half. The very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to stamp our main image, which is the gorgeous Liberty little boat. And you'll see as I stamp it up how absolutely delicate this is. I mean, look at the fine lines on this. <laughs> Amazing. Now what we want is, is we want enough space underneath it so that we can create this water and give space for our little boggart. So I am going to put this about there on my card. So now you can appreciate what I mean about the fine lines in the detail of this stamp. I'm then going to stamp my bellflower vine peeking out of the top and I'm not using the whole stamp on this one I'm just gonna so I'm only going to ink up part of it because I'm going to just put this peeking out at the top like that. I'm just going to give these both a quick wipe So that they stay nice and clean. And then I'm going to take my stencils. I'm going to start with the water, which is Flora. And I'm just, there's no need to tape it down. So I always tap a tiny bit off, so I tap it onto my brush and then I'll tap a tiny bit off. And that's because I don't want any of the harsh um, ink. I just want the lovely soft blend. So by tapping a tiny bit off, because it's much easier to tap it off than to go in too hard at the beginning. So you just want this water to sort of come around the bottom of the boat. And then I'm going to put my leaf trails coming down from the top. Mowed lawn here. Now for this one I'm going to choose 
There's lots of, lots of gorgeous swirls in this stencil, but I am just going to orient it because I like, yes, there we go. Some of these lovely swirls here. And I'm just going to do the same very lightly. I'm moving this stencil brush in a circular motion. Again, that helps make it really soft. And you just want this peeking through the corner like that. Just like that. So a hint. I'm just going to clean my mat here because I don't want any blue in my green. And then I'm going to... I use this piece of acetate so that I don't get my finger marks all over the rest of the card. So now I'm just going to blend. It's fine that I'm blending over my stenciling. Just bringing it down a little like that. And I'm going to go the same with my blue. And just blend, blend around the edge of my card at the bottom. There we got this lovely soft piece around our card. Right. I'm going to clean my mat and if you haven't seen I am using one of the gorgeous Lavinia mats oh my goodness at first I wasn't I was thinking do I need that mat but oh my goodness I love it I absolutely love it now we're going to stamp our little boggart again still using nocturne And I'm just going to pop him. So I've popped him that part of that ripple in the water is just off the edge of the card. And now we're going to come in with our colouring. My lovely pencils. They're just fabulous. And they're so soft. So what I've brought in is, is I've used this green for Boggart. That one is called Permanent Green Light. I've used the darker green for the leaves. And then for my gorgeous bell flowers, I've got this colour, which is, this is the Permanent Red Violet Light. And then for the boat, I've got the other two reds, so Scarlet and Madder Lake Deep. Wow, fabulous colours. Right, we're going to start by colouring our little boggart. <laughs> and to do that, I am going to use this permanent green medium. You can see I'm not being too careful here. It's just a hint of colour. And then I've just rubbed it with my finger. And I'm just going to clean off my finger here. I always keep a bit of hand sanitizer right close to where I'm working. So for this very reason, I can just clean my fingers straight off so that I don't transfer it to the rest of my card. And then I'm going to colour the main image, the boat. Now I'm not the most expert colourer. But I'm going to create a bit. But the beauty of these is I'm literally just touching the paper. So 
So I'm following the lines on the stamp. I'm going to now go in with this. This is called Madder Lake Deep. It's an interesting name, isn't it? It's a sort of brownie maroon. And again, just following the lines of the stamp. And you can see I'm not colouring specifically in because I'm just going to smudge it with my fingers just like I did before. And now I've picked up the pinky colour. I'm also going to go over these buttons in the boat. But always following the lines and the flow, not the lines specifically, but the flow of the lines. Okay, so it looks a bit of a mess. And now we're just going to take our finger and rub it. So you can see what I did was as I left a bit of white space at the top there. Now, I do have a bit of a smudge here. I'm just using a normal eraser. And that erases it beautifully. And then you can play for ages, just touching it up, making some of the edge shading darker, following the lines a bit more to make that a bit darker. And then around the edge of these little buttons, I've just coloured them in. Then I'm going to take my pink back again and just colour the top bits of these flowers. So you can see that's about all I've done. Then I'm going to take my finger and just smudge that colour down. So then it sort of pulls the colour from the top of the flower down. Enough. <laughs> and then just bringing my greens in. And I'm going to play with both greens because no leaf has just one shade, does it? And I'm just going to colour the centre of each of these leaves. Then I'm going to bring in my white pen always when I'm using this white pen I like to test it out before I start and I hold it in an upright position that way you get a good white crisp dot and then I'm just going to dot the tops of the flowers here And then along my little boat, I'm just going to create some dots. Just around the edge here. There we go. And on my buttons.
And then to put a bit of extra depth in my boggart, I'm just going to put some white pen in some of these circles on his body. And around his eye. Now I am going to create a bit of extra blue around the bottom here. So I'm going to take this one is called King's Blue. And again, you do not have to be an expert colorer here because Tracy's done the detail in the lines on this stamp. And then finally, I'm going to stamp my sentiment in the background. So for that, I'm going to use Bluebell and Shady Lane. I'm going to take Shady Lane first. And the stamp that I'm going to be using is Sea a Fairy. I love this stamp. It's called Sea a Fairy. Beautiful script. I'm going to stamp it off twice. And then I'm just going to stamp it lightly in the background there. Nope, that's fine. I'm just going to wipe it off. And then I'm going to pop some blue on and do the same at the bottom. So I've got my blue bell. Again, stamp it off twice so that you just get a hint of this in the background. There we are. So there we have our card for today. I do hope you've enjoyed that. I would love to see your make, so please tag me. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.